Prescription pills, a rock of crack cocaine, and a sex doll, as well as dozens of citations never turned in. All red flags, all found in the patrol car of an Oxville police officer. Records show the case started after cadets started cleaning the patrol car assigned to Officer Eddie Nation. That 12-year veteran of the force was fired back in June. 10 News investigative reporter Grace King walks us through the background and where this case stands right now. We obtained the full investigative file from KPD. It shows a pattern of cast aside drugs, traffic tickets and misdemeanor citations. KPD says those problems lasted the majority of Officer Nation's time in the field. Community leaders addressed the severity during a recent police advisory and review committee meeting. How could these issues go on nine years without anyone noticing? Paper. From 2010 through 2018, Documents show Officer Eddie Nation repeatedly failed to turn in paperwork. The discovery came as cadets cleaned out Nation's car while he was on extended medical leave. They found 25 misdemeanor citations. Of those, investigators say only one person was booked under the applicable citation number. One other was arrested on the spot, but investigators say there are no records for anyone else getting booked on those misdemeanor citations. This is a paper process where we're collecting pieces of paper. Um, and anytime you're collecting pieces of paper, it's easy to accidentally lose things. It's also um, easy to intentionally, you know, misplace things or not turn stuff in. KPD also found 42 forms for cars that were towed, involved in accidents and impounded that never got turned in, as well as a variety of drugs and drug paraphernalia. Records show they discovered a cigarette pack containing a crack rock, two baggies containing a green leafy substance believed to be marijuana, a blunt, two prescription bottles, and a deflated sex doll. But what troubled investigators the most was finding three confiscation envelopes that were never logged. One envelope read meth, but records show they didn't find any meth with the property. KPD wrote it had great concern about where the meth is. Was he drug tested during this investigation? So he was not. So he was actually on medical leave prior to the initiation of the investigation um, when the violation was discovered and all throughout the entire process. Members of the police advisory and review committee asked how something like this could last so long. All of these are just paper citations. The way to move forward with this is to digitize this process, and that's something we're going to be working on. In a statement, KPD told 10 News it's moving in that direction. The department says traffic citations have since gone entirely digital. Its leadership team is planning and developing an improved technological infrastructure, but Chief Paul Noel told Park they can't do it alone. You're talking about the clerk of court, the different judges, the district attorney general's office, being able to get everybody to be on the same page with that, be able to electronically share that information and, and build up that whole the infrastructure to be able to support that. KPD says it feels confident this is an extreme example of an officer who both neglected and failed to do his job. They say it's another example of how KPD will benefit from the active bystandership for law enforcement training that's coming in 2023. We reached out to Officer Nation through his attorney. He told us they had no additional comment. Grace King on that story right now at WBIR.com. You can read the full statement from Knoxville Police and more key pieces of that investigation. 